Hello and welcome to my vlog. This is your friendly neighborhood old bat. I am must tell you about this concealer. Okay. This goes back to my story about the hammer hitting me in the face. In head. Okay. Who would have thunk that a black eye would spring up after you get hit in the side of the head? Who knew? Okay. I must tell you about this concealer because I got it so that I could go to work without looking like I had a big black eye. This true, this L'Oreal True Match is very, very good and works wonders. I can't say enough about it. Um, I used it today. And as you can see, you can hardly tell or not see it at all, especially when I have my glasses on. And it does a marvelous job. No complaints. One moment. And I'm here to tell you, if you've got, you know, something you can seal, this is the stuff to use. All be bullshit aside. Um, let's see. And uh, be patient with me. This palette is everything I've come to expect from this brand. Works like a charm, stays in place, get, and it's got great color. 10 out of 10 recommend along with that. I'm down to 137. And I'm hitting it extra hard. I have kickboxing at 5.30 in the morning tomorrow because I have to be at work early. Mm. That means early to bed and... You know, I won't have time for much else. And I learned a very valuable lesson about protein foods. Be sure to eat lots of protein before you go into that studio because that is a hard workout. I burned only 415 calories. Instead of my usual 500 or something, 500 something. Now I was a little disappointed with myself. Well, I had myself to blame because I didn't have enough protein food in my system. And today I'm making sure I load up on the protein. And one of the things that I've been I've been doing, bear with me.
are these tuna creations by Starkist. They are great. I had the hot buffalo style. It's really good. I haven't tried the sweet and spicy, but that's next on the list. I had, and I'm going to also try the jalapeno, because I love jalapeno. Um, and I had gotten some pouches, um, a buffalo chicken and a barbecue chicken pouch. Well, I couldn't find them anywhere in the stores where I normally frequent, and I decided to make some myself. That it, all you need is some, some canned chicken and some barbecue sauce, and you barbecue sauce it to taste. And, I, and that's not to say you know put lots and lots of barbecue sauce in it. Just a, just some, just enough to coat the chicken. No need to go nuts. And same with buffalo sauce. I got some buffalo sauce in there. I'm going to make some buffalo chicken. That was pretty darn tasty, too. You can put it on sandwiches. You can put it on crackers. Or you can eat it by itself. You need it for the workout itself. Because it can be very, very strenuous. And, I mean, it's not like... I mean, if, if I had to compare this to my cardio workout, there is no comparison. It's a lot tougher, and it's a lot harder. Hi, Mimi. In the minute I, I opened the, the, uh, the pouch of tuna, she was all over me. She saw the pouches. Oh. <gasps> Excuse me. She um she wanted to be my best buddy. What baby? Huh? What's what what do you want? You want something, you're a cat. They're self serving creatures. I probably like them because they're I'm on myself sometimes. As I can be kind of a jerk too. I love you too, sweetie. Yeah, mom hasn't been around much, has she? Now she's working a regular nine to five. And that's going pretty well. Yeah, I had to watch. I was put where I had to watch some of the more expensive stuff we had in men's. And make sure nobody walked away with it. Because um, people have been walking away with armloads of that stuff. So, my mission was to sit there and walk and check people out and keep an eye on it. Well, there are some people that came in, saw me after I said hello, made a circle, and got back right back on the escalator. This happened three or four times. I don't like being put in that position. I don't like it. It kind of stresses me out a little bit. Because I don't like that. 
you know, it's bad enough dealing with it in misses or dealing with it in, uh, in, um, petite. You know, and where the old lady clothes are. You know, the Karen Scott stuff. Nobody wants that stuff. Mm. Yeah, it made me intensely uncomfortable. Yeah, um, I'm expecting some stuff that had been on back order from Macy's to come. If we're lucky, maybe we'll get to we'll get to do a haul too. I've noticed something. My videos on Shanty and DC, they don't pull the numbers. What pulls my numbers are my get ready with me. My product reviews and my hauls. Funny. Who would have thunk it? Looks like those, those four turds are going on the back burner. I'm going to do what I think that people want to see. Yeah, my um, Get Ready With Me, uh, I think, has gotten over 200, 200 views in the last couple days. And I'm digging that pretty much. I might just stick to that kind of content. Because I really like doing that kind of content. It's good. It's good fun. It's clean fun. And I'm not pissed off at anything. You know? Oh, I may go on a tirade now and again. But. And I'm not going to say I'm not going to talk about them every now and then. But I think they're going to go kind of on the back burner. Because they're just. It's just not, it's just not draw. it's just not drawing the views. Let's see, how close, how close, how close. Come on, I'm on a little track. Yeah, I'm on the UPS website, uh, seeing how close they are. Well, they aren't as close as I thought. So we won't, we probably won't be getting that haul. I might come back on and uh, do a haul if it's a substantial amount of stuff. Um, and uh, I'll share that with you for sure. Rickyard Court. Uh, he's quite a few stops away from me right now. <sighs> Everything's going pretty good. Yeah, you know, today sometime I'm gonna take Deathwing here, put him on my wall, and uh, I'm kind of digging the cooler weather. And I just hope it stays that way. And that's all I got for now. Y'all take care. And take care of yourselves. No one else will. Peace. Love. Light. And may God be with you.
Bye.